Hey, what's up, guys? So I'm coming here with another video in my Maverick series, making videos really controversial, kind of. And tonight we are talking about cancel culture because, of course, we are. Let's get into it. But first, of course, if you're new to my channel, what is up? My name is Mitch Maverick Mitch. Hey, Mitch Mitch. All the Mitches and pretty much I like talking about what I talk about. So, current events, reviews, and pop culture within the scope of entertainment, culture, and purpose. So, TV movie reviews, social political commentary. Be sure to check out all those videos as you're finishing this video. Okay, so this idea of cancel culture brought up because I like talking about cancel culture. I have done a lot of videos on it. If anything, it's one of the one of the mainstays of my channel. And it, my friends were talking about we were watching The Mandalorian and we we're talking about Gina Carano who plays Cara Dune on The Mandalorian and how she's getting canceled just by being um, not failing to the SJW woke narrative, right? She she posted it, like one of her smaller like non-biased things was that she for after the election um, she posted a, a picture graph of Baby Yoda and all this stuff um, that he won the election and everything. And so people are trying to cancel her just because she is um, not playing toe to toe with the the in lockstep to the left, right? Initially, I wanted to do a video on that, but I don't know. It's getting kind of old news. But in in my process of like looking up council culture, I kind of I fall into this video by Jubilee. It's a year old, but I want to kind of go into it. I think I want to. I haven't seen this video. Um, it has Joy Villa, who does like a lot of the MAGA stuff um, and talks. And so I do want to look into this video and see how what they're going into, and then maybe I do a part two. But I, I initially just want to see what they're talking about, right? And maybe I'll, again I'll do another video and. And if you're watching this, let me know because my my cousin and I was having a conversation with, um, sh like both sides does counterculture, but I'm saying that the left does it more. Is they're a little bit more religious and authoritative when it comes to cancel culture, not just individuals, but products and everything. And it, it falls under the if you're not in lockstep with the woke ideology, um, you, you're being canceled. And I, I think this video goes into that. And if you have a list, please comment below a list of things that need to be that were canceled. I think I could do uh, at the end of the year video 2020 think the top five, ten things that were canceled in 2020. So um, obviously you can say like um, businesses and all, unfortunately businesses or your like events and all stuff. But I'm looking more towards in the pop culture. So less about like what what things didn't, what you got canceled like EDC, whatever, but more about people and products that were canceled. So may, I kind of want to do like a compilation of the top 10 things that were canceled with cancel culture in 2020. So be sure to comment below, give me a list so I can compile it all together. So again, this is a video from Jubilee. Um, they do a lot of these other videos I have commented on before, but this one is about counterculture, culture and so we'll get into it. I haven't seen this and so let's get into it. It started at the office when I was talking about Kanye. I love him and you hate Kanye. So we were like, we should do a cancer culture middle ground. Yeah, we thought it was really important to bring other topics like pop culture to middle ground. So let us know in the comments below what you want us to talk about. As always, enjoy the episode. R. Kelly, bye. I'm done with you. Get out of here. Like, But that's in your <laughs> opinion. Yeah. I'm not saying I'm yeah. for R. R. Kelly. I just think if you support him, you're a dick, right? Yeah. And then yeah. it's very yeah. to be a dick. Again, this is about like celebrities. So again, it falls into what I want to talk about. But so we'll, yeah. Hello, my name is Adib Kadir. Um, I have a computer science degree, and I'm a product manager in the tech industry. Um, hi, I'm Will Court. I'm a music student at USC. Hi, I'm Joy Villa. I'm a singer-songwriter, and I am anti-cancel culture. Hi, I'm Lindsay Riebling. I'm a consumer insights specialist, and I'm pro-ish cancel culture. Mm -hmm. More on the side, but I'm looking forward to this conversation. Hi, I'm Seth Fowler, a uh, law school graduate and teacher. I am pro-cancel culture. Hi, my name is Alana. I am a student, a history student, and I'm pro-cancel culture. And I have my pro-cancel culture to the left and my anti-cancel culture to the right. I would buy an artist's work even if they committed a violent crime. 
I don't know what a violent crime consists of, but obviously it's open-ended, you know, Humans type of thing. Are a series of impulses on a spectrum of time. Like we are constantly changing, we're constantly evolving. Have any of you ever, honestly never not told a lie in your life? Of course, we evolved. So are you a liar today? No, not today. So that moment that you told a lie, you can't be blanketed as a liar the rest of your life. I think the issue with cancel culture is it's kind of like this, like you have a cut on your arm, let's just chop the whole arm off. When you bring up the amount of people that work on some of these projects, like think of like a Harvey Weinstein movie, right? He did yeah. terrible things. I wouldn't want to support Harvey Weinstein. But most of his victims are people that were in his movies. By not supporting a Harvey Weinstein movie, you're also not supporting his victims. So it's kind of like you're in a weird spot, right? But you can't bring down the kingpin without bringing down the organization that he built. So he said something very interesting to me about like the whole cutting off the arm and the, to fix a cut. And I feel like the exact opposite because when you talk about how like, oh, if you're canceling people, blah, 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 and they have good inventions, it's like there's so many smart people that aren't toxic. And it's like when you cancel someone that is toxic, it's sending the message to other toxic people, you cannot get away with this. Here's how I think of it, like, I have the right to stop this, and if other people want to do that also, and we bond together, like, the power's in our hands, and I feel like, for me, I'm doing my part by not... Okay, so there's a, I think, already, I'm just formulating my thoughts as I'm going through this, right? Um, and so, I think there's an idea in which, like, what is toxic and all this stuff, and toxic, it's kind of like what we use as sin on the, as a, as a Christian, and then, do you want to eliminate sin in your life? Yes. But, like, there, there in, at least in Christianity, there's, a, there's reconciliation, there's a forgiveness, and I don't think there is that on the left, you know? Once you're canceled, there is no point, the, the, if you are canceled, you have to go through the steps of, like, on the, like, there's this process of, like, I'm listening, I'm learning, we are evolving, we are growing, and then that's the, that's, you have to publicly, like, um, ask for your forgiveness and I think that's where it is like f when I talk to my cousin when I talk to other people it's not less about counter culture I think this is the the religious ideology that I talk about in in which it's a more cancel culture is a more about power than actually eliminating what is bad and I, I, I can formulate that more later but I think just listening in this in this one area I think that's where I'm getting at when I talk about council culture. Choosing not to like mess with that person anymore. Yeah, I was going to ask you a question though. Do you feel like you should be the one making the decision? Or do you mm. feel like YouTube or Spotify should make the decision mm. for you? Mm. And take down people who they feel like offended uh, a certain segment of the population? That's a good point. Like, um, at which point, who is the arbitrators and the tribunal in, in this council culture? Like, when it comes to the left, Council culture is the mob, right? When it's, uh, if if the right does it, it, it is, I don't know, let's say council culture towards, like, let's say me with um, Filipinx. I am a big, like, as much as I can recognize someone's identity as Filipinx as a whole, I disagree with Filipinx. And in a sense, I am canceling Filipinx for, because I think it's a collective bad. Um, and in that case, yeah, sure, I'm an arbitrator, but... I'm, I'm using this at, not, I can't speak for all Filipinos, but at least in the conservative realm that is out here, like, Filipinx is the minority of the minority, it's not a, the majority, and so, like, again, there's an idea in which where you stand, I can formulate that later. Uh, I think it's, it's, it's two separate things, like, I think I should have the power to make that decision, of course, that's a very personal thing for me. But so their music should be, continue to be sold and available. I personally don't think so. Just don't listen to it. Don't buy it. You yourself, yeah. absolutely, every individual has the right to say, hey, I don't like this. And you can even tweet about it and say no. But then to start a boycott, that's why yeah. I don't do boycotts. People have different morals. Like, I personally have the right. I withhold the right. I think all of us do to not go and support these people we don't believe in. I would never tell you, wait, I'm going to go see XYZ movie and you have to too. If you say no, you have that right. What cancel culture does is saying, I'm not going to see this person because I don't like this person and nobody else should. Okay, I like that. Um, just because that goes in, going back using my Philippine X example, 
Um, and I love this. This is really a great video. This is like me talking, using this as formulating my thoughts and like constructing it. And so when I use Philippine X, I, as much as I want it to be like stopped and not being used, I'm not canceling the individual for using Philippine X. I'm not canceling like if you use it, we should boycott you and all that stuff. I'm just canceling the idea of Philippine X because I disagree with it. Like I said, if you you if a person identifies as Philippine X, I'll use it begrudgingly, probably. Well, if they're more my friend, if I know them personally, then yes, I will use it. But if it's some stranger, that and if depending on the conversation, I might be spicy and be like, I don't I don't care about you, your Filipino X, <laughs> like you Filipino X, you 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 Phoenix, <laughs> you know. But so the idea here is that I'm, I'm canceling the idea less than, at least with Philippine X, I'm canceling the idea less than the person. So, yes. Either, and that's why I hate it. Cancel culture is out of control. <laughs> yes, Joy Villa, we with you, I'm with you. Okay, everyone is at the table. I think it was a good thing. It's like the Me Too movement, a good thing. But when you get the court of public opinion involved, I tell you, it, it becomes so horrible. I, I am an artist. I've legitimately hit number one on Billboard. People think, oh, I don't <laughs> You're like, who you is? <laughs> I don't blame you. When people say, I hope you die. Somebody should kill your family. You should get raped so that you, you have a baby legitimately. And you can, I mean, it is online bullying. Cancel culture, uh, rationally, uh, is overall a net positive, I think. But there are sects of cancel culture, like the uh, toxic people that issue the death threats. And of course, those need to be excised. Right. Cancel culture originated out of compassion, the voice for the voiceless, uh, being able to vote with your wallet, make a stand, yeah. uh, your little retweet, your little like, turning things viral that wouldn't get seen. I mean, there's a like, and that's where it gets a problem with, right? You have things kind of like Nick Sandman, who je who is a teenager from Coving Covington High School in Kentucky or whatever, and he is wearing a hat at the March for Life, well, walking away from the March for Life, and now is uh, that stuff. And so, like the whole Twitter and mainstream media was canceling this guy just for wearing a MAGA hat, right? And they were canceling like everyone in there. And I'm glad that he got the he won the m money from CNN. Um, and so, pretty much, um, and so this this idea in which, again, cancel culture on the left goes to the extreme where we don't care if it's a teenager, uh, we can't take away his livelihood, he has the wrong narrative, so we're going to attack him. So, yeah. This is something that, like, strikes fear in my heart right now. What's happening now is, you know, people are essentially choosing for you whether you should, be, it's like, it's like, let's say you wanted to uh, boycott Coca-Cola or Nike or something. Imagine if stores started taking Nike shoes out of the store before you could even make the decision as a people to buy it or not buy it. And we yeah. need to have the right and, and the option but at our level. do companies not have that right too? Yeah, I don't think that they're trying to make you not buy the product. I think that they're saying, as a company, we do not agree with this, so we're not going to sell your product here. When record labels stop playing their music or whatever, I feel like it's justified. Specifically for victims, because when it gets out that that person did something like that, their music skyrockets. And for the victim, seeing that zero. they're getting yeah. so much Messed support up, for that, right? and then Especially once the cases are over, so then sure, you can play their music more if they are innocent. But it's also like the justice system isn't always right. Honestly, I've said this before, like, I think the pendulum has swung the other direction, and like, yes, maybe it's getting a little string, but I also think sometimes that's necessary for change. For so long, we let everyone get away with everything, right. and there was only one voice as part of the conversation, and it was like, club. right, and it was mostly like, white men back in the day, versus now we have a platform where everyone can share their opinion, and you're like, hey, that makes me uncomfortable, and I think some people are going to have to be made examples of in order to set precedent in what's acceptable for us, our generation, and the society today. The public should hold celebrities accountable when the justice system fails. Hey, friend. Hey. <laughs> 
Um, R. Kelly is the first name that comes to mind Same. because he has sex tapes that show his face and people are still like, he didn't do it. We love R. Kelly, he would never. And most of the time when it's a celebrity being convicted, they can always buy their way out. That's exactly who came to mind for me too. Okay, so I, I, sorry, just on this topic, um, it's Hollywood that's like, sorry, I'll just throw a, a curveball. Cuties, Netflix Cuties is actually getting Oscar nominations. If we are as a collective saying that pedophilia and promoting like underage sexualization is the overall collective bad, why is Netflix Cuties getting an Oscar nomination? It is the left. If if we're all in an accord, like these these folks like these, I don't know, should be fighting against that. But I don't know, whatever. I don't. I'm not seeing cancel cuties as as much as it should. Like we'll see we'll see if it elevates when the Oscar comes around. But immediately, I was just like, oh, like first of all, how many? times... Oh, okay, join the group. Yeah, what's up? Um, how many times in like? the United States justice system, have we seen guilty people get off innocent and you find off years later that that happened? If the justice system doesn't come through, we as a people shouldn't just take that and be like, okay, well, I guess he's innocent. Like, no, he did that and let's take away his platform and we will take that power away from him. The justice system is so, just so imperfect. It's unbelievable. And I think that situations like Jussie Smollett I think that the justice system in those situations have failed. If we don't support the justice system a little bit, then it's kind of anarchy. But at the same time, I think that it's an individual decision as the individual has the right to kind of I don't, not not support them or, you know, yeah. to do whatever they want to yeah. do, you like, know? Yeah, I don't think we should, like, show up at his house and, like, beat him up. Yeah, no, just nothing <laughs> extreme, like, nothing yeah, extreme. Like if the justice system fails, what's important and what's happening now is that we do look at replacing, whether it's the district attorney or whatever the system is that's causing it to fail, people should go and address it so the next millions of people that go through that system go through a just system. I think we all completely agree with that, like the justice system needs to be fixed, but I do think the reason cancel culture started and when it originally derived was because like, to be 100% right, like, that takes so long. Like, for our entire government and justice system to, like, evolve into your idealistic view of it is not happening next year. Where I think we're making change, I think it's happening, but I think our generation that spawned cancel culture was like, we don't have time. Right. We like, have the same problems with cancel culture as we do with the justice system. There's a lot of people that got, that, um, got the death penalty, right? We're, we're giving people the, their careers the death penalty by public, you know, and kicking them out forever and saying we never want you back, right? right. Are we? Because I've well, canceled the NFL and, since Colin what Kaepernick. what if they're wrong? You know what I mean? What if we're, but what if we're wrong? Right. Yeah. If it was accountable culture, I'd be on that side. Cancel. When I cancel you, you don't exist. Delete yeah. it. Bye. Get out of here. No more money. We're done with them. Cancel. Yeah. Just as imperfect as the justice system. But R. Kelly, bye. I'm done with you. Get out of here. Like, But that's in your opinion. <laughs> yeah. I'm not saying I'm yeah. for R. R. Kelly, but I still don't want all his music erased. Like, all of a sudden, it's like he's guilty before a court of law. Even people I don't support, I still want them to go to the justice system because fairness matters. We've already been through this throughout history. I just think if you support him, you're a dick, right? Yeah. I mean, and then right. it's their yeah. right to be a dick. But it's yeah. their right to be a dick. And it's dick. our right to hate them. And it's yeah. our right That's right. Not That's to First Amendment. Right. Yeah. Cancel culture, it runs, uh, I would say, codependently with activism. And as activism has changed, we're mm. able to operate quicker and mobilize quicker in this digital space. It's almost, in some senses, it's I, like digital. Sorry, I, I agree with that just because that makes perfect sense. What, because activism, like you could say it's on both sides, but more so activism is on the left. Social issues on the left, council culture is on the left, activism, and so it makes sense why that was all wrapping it up together, yeah. But I like compassionate cancel culture. If you look at the history of somebody and you look at how somebody responds when confronted mm. and you make mm -hmm. your decision based off of whether they've... Also, like real quick, um, Joy Villa said it, like accountable culture, that, I like that too. Uh, she said it a, mi a while ago. seen any type of error and applied any type of value judgment, then I think it's totally your right whether or not to support them. So we like have too many options. Like yeah. And I love that you said it's your right. 
I just think what's most important about anything is that if you're going to stop listening to someone, stop supporting someone, you know, do your research and make it make the moral decision for yourself of whether you want to support them or not. And that's the that's all you can do as an individual. It's an individual decision. We all kind of have the same opinion on a level. For the most part, we think that people deserve consequences, but I feel like we they get they get to more of an extreme. <laughs> Of course, my battery is running out, and so, all right. So, really quick, overall, I thought that was pretty really good. I think it helps me formulate uh, my thoughts a little bit more. I think when I talk about council culture, um, it is more about an inquisition. If I'm going to use council culture in the sense that it's on the left, and it is um, about this woke ideology that's pretty specific on the left. I think when I say cancel culture, it's not a broad term as far as canceling what you do not like or taking away what you not like, even though those are, are a part of it. I think when I use cancel culture, it is the inquisition weapon of the left. Um, and I like the word inquisition because, you know, <laughs> has, it, has, it has a religious connotation, right? And so, yeah, I think, again, so I, I want to formulate my thoughts some more and, and look in, and dive into my things um, and what my, goes into, like, again, going to the original start of the video about um, um, Gina Carano, um, Cara Dune, you know, the left was counseling her, again, because she is not in lockstep with the left, right? And so, she is not even doing anything bad, right? But sh her rhetoric and her politics, or presumed politics, is not on the left. So I already have a problem with that because, you know, it, like, well, whether or not she's on my same political realm or not, the fact that, you know, she's just being cancelled just by having the wrong ideas in the eyes of the left, um, it, yeah, so it's a, it's very problematic. Um, again, I do want to go into this more, talk about it more, formulate my thoughts about this, uh, because it's, it is a little bit complex just using it on the surface, just as much as, let's say, racism, right? When, when the left uses racism, sometimes they define it as race plus power is racism. So when, when they say black people can't be racist. Whereas everyone else colloquially use racism if you're just talking bad about another ethnicity that's racist. Um, so yeah, um, I like this. I'll formulate more of my thoughts. Try to look in other things. Comment below. Tell me what you think. Help me formulate my thoughts so I can better dictate um, and define what cancel culture as we, as I use it and how uh, the people on the right use it, I guess. Uh, conservatives, middle people, and generally how... Um, council culture works. So yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you found that a little bit enlightening. Um, comment below, share your thoughts again, and you know, uh, see you in the next video. You can follow me on my Instagram at HeyMitchMitch. You can follow my joint Instagram at It's Mandatory Fun, where I do other videos with my friend Jen. I'm also on Parlor Maverick Mitch M V R C K Mitch. And see you in the next video. Thanks again for watching. See you in the next. Peace, peace, peace. Be with you.